In the last video, we learned about the pre- and post-processing events. Here, we can set events like data transforms, and that's precisely what we did. We created a clean account page data transform for the pre-processing of personal details and the post-processing of account details. Now, here we are facing an issue. This flow action is of category screen flow, which means that the user is able to go backwards. This means that if the user goes back to the first step, let's say to fix a typo, its pre-processing will be triggered, cleaning the whole account page, erasing all the progress that the user has made. To solve this issue, we are going to move the data transform into its own shape. This way, the account page will be clean only when entering and leaving this flow. Let's begin. So, as I just explained, if I go back to the first flow action of this flow, which is personal details, you will see that all the information in my account page gets erased. This is because we are running the clean account page data transform each time that we enter into this step. In order to fix this, I'm going to remove the data transform from the pre-processing and post-processing and have them in a data transform shape. You can find this shape clicking this plus icon, going to automations and selecting the run data transform. Here you can place a name for the shape. So I'm going to use the same name as the data transform. You can name it whatever you want. And here in the drop down, you have to select your data transform. So this is something that happens once in a while in Pega, where you don't see your rules in some places, even though they already exist. To fix it, open the rule that you want to see one quick way to open rules, if you already know the type of rule, is that you can go to records, open the category of that rule, which is under data model, and it's data transform, and you will see the list of all the data transforms that are in this application. In this case, I know my data transform is called clean account page. Now, any rule that you don't see in some places in the application, this is because this is a kind of hidden rule that cannot be used in App Explorer or some tools that another business um, business user can use. So in order to make this rule usable across the application, you have to go to Actions and mark as a relevant record. Now go back. If you are still, if you still have the pop-up opened, you need to close it and open it again, and now you will be able to see your rule. And let me remove this data transform from this flow action. And I'm going to do the same, but for account details. Now that we have edited this flow, if you try to save this reservation case type, you will see that you will get this stale error. 
This is because we have made some changes in our flows. So in order to save this, we need to refresh first to see the changes that we made, and then we can run the process. You will see that we have these two new data transform shapes. So let's test this and let's see if this works. Okay, so I'm going to enter some random information here. And I want to make sure that when I go to the next flow, this information is not present. Okay, that works. Now let me test that my information doesn't get erased from this flow when I go to the first one. So if I enter some information here, I should go back to credentials and still be able to see the username and the passwords. And yep, we can see. And lastly, let me check that when I end this flow, the account page gets cleaned up. Yeah, it seems to work. Well, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'm going to add a new activity shape that will run some stuff in the background and will make sure that we go back after the sign-up process to the authenticate process. Well, see you in the next one. Thanks.